Now, last week on St Perrin's Day, we heard from school children singing the popular Cornish song, Cornwall, My Home. And so many of you got in touch, wanting to know how the song came about. Well, we tracked down the man who wrote it, Harry Glasson, and it's not as old as you might think. In fact, it was written in 1997. Well, Harry will be joining us in a moment, but first, here's a little bit of the love for Cornwall, My Home. Well, I stood on Cape Cornwall Harry Glaston is the man who captured the essence of Cornish identity and put it into song. What the fishing feet go? What the sheep will that give her? This was so eloquently done in Cornwall My Home that it became a Cornish anthem in its own right. As we go underground. songs are simple heartfelt lyrics that touch the hearts of both young and old. Harry's songs will live on for generations. It's about the people that we sing it with. Most of all, it's those goosebump moments when we're singing together with friends all over Cornwall with a pint in hand. I chased the maids all giggly and tired. I stood on the cliff top in a westerly blow and heard the waves thunder on the rocks far below. Harry, when you hear how this song has been taken, your song has been taken so much into people's hearts. How does that make you feel? Well, it just blows me away, to be honest with you, to realise that so many people um, think the way I do. Uh, just wonderful, absolutely wonderful. I mean, in a way, it's become a bit of a blockbuster. It's become a chart topper in Cornwall, and many people dream about writing songs like that. What was your inspiration? How did it come about? It came about because of a group called the Cape Cornwall Singers and they started singing down in St. Just. Um, they asked to do one of my other songs, to be honest, and they did such a wonderful job by it um, that I was just inspired to write for them. And it's written about the things I loved um, in this area and I never realised that some other people felt the same way. And I know that um, music and singing has been a part of your life, all of your life, pretty much. When you were diagnosed with vocal cord cancer uh, back in 2009, I think it was, you, I know you couldn't sing for five years. That must have been such a loss in your life. At the time, it was, yeah, it was pretty, it was quite a bit of a shock. I, I was a tour guide as well, and... Um, a tour guide and song that singer uh, was not good without a voice. But I've got to say, um, I've got such high praise for uh, the attention and uh, the surgeons and the nurses and all the staff um, in ENT and in Toronto. It wasn't for the way that they looked after me and did the operation in the beginning, I wouldn't have been able to have done it. And finally, somebody, as we just heard, said that um, you had captured the essence of Cornish identity and put it into song. How does that make you feel? I explained it the other day, but I'm like a dog with two tails and not knowing which one to wag, to be honest with you. <laughs> I love that expression, Harry Glass, and thank you so much for joining us, and thank you for the song. Thank you very much for your interest in it. Thank you.